Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the radars. Here we will see the basic concept of radar, how a radar works, its advantages and also its limitations. We will also discuss various applications of radars. So let's start with the basic concept of radar. First of all, let's see what is the full form of radar. R-A-D-A-R. -A -A this radar stands for radio detection and ranging as it uses radio waves to detect and to find the range of the target. Okay, It uh, sends radio signals to the target and these radio signals gets reflected back to the radar and it analyzes these uh, signals and based on that it can detect that uh, there is some target located at a particular place and what is its range velocity and angle okay so first time it was used in 1942 and that was the time of world war second okay by the u.s navy it was used by the u.s navy in 1942 the basic principle of working as i told you that it sends electromagnetic waves actually radio waves are what these are simply the electromagnetic waves and these waves are sent to any distant object and then it analyzes the reflected waves or the eco signal the eco signal that is obtained from the object the target is analyzed and on the basis of that it gathers information about that object these are few points about radar that you should know a radar can detect static or moving targets we can use the radar to detect a non-moving or a moving target radar can find the range angle and velocity of the target all these three can be measured with the help of uh, the radar of the target what is the range how much at what distance it is situated at what velocity the target is moving and what is the angle at which it is approaching or uh, going away okay now we will uh, see various advantages that a radar offers radar provides a superior penetration capability through any type of weather condition like rain fog and snow it is very clear that we can use radar even in the uh, bad weather conditions like uh, rain fog or snow it can work in all these conditions even it can uh, be used uh, in the night time also day and night time it can be used easily because it operates on the basis of the mechanism where radio waves are transmitted by the transmitting antenna and it is received back by the receiving antenna by the radar so there is uh, it does not affect it does not affect the radio waves much like uh, uh, rain fog and snow it can work because it can penetrate these all weather conditions easily radio waves can penetrate these things so day and night it can be used equally uh, it can also be uh, used to detect static or moving targets. I already told you that it can be used to detect. To detect means uh, to find its location. If, if it is static, then we can find at what angle, what is the direction and with, what is the range uh, at which the target is situated. And if it is moving, then we can calculate its velocity. Uh, and uh, this radar can calculate the range and angle of the target accurately i have told you that it can calculate the range and angle the radar does not need any medium to function as it uses electromagnetic waves radio waves okay uh, radar's full form is radio detection and ranging so radio waves are used which are electromagnetic waves and electromagnetic waves we know uh, do not need any medium to travel they can uh, equally travel in uh, vacuum in space free space and in air so there is no need of any medium to function it is better than the sonar because sonar is what sonar is the sound navigation ranging it is used to calculate the distance or the location of the target uh, that is deep in the see so it uses water as the medium but in case of uh, because it's so the sonar uses sound waves and sound waves cannot travel in free space but it is not so with the radar radar are electromagnetic waves that can travel in free space and air also so it is better in that case in comparison to sonar uh, we have discussed this that uh, radar uses uh, electromagnetic waves which can be used in space or air
another thing that these radio waves that is these electromagnetic waves that are used in a uh, radar they travel at the speed of light because electromagnetic waves have the speed of light but in case of sonar that uses sound waves and the speed of sound is uh, much much smaller than the speed of light so it is it's working is much faster than the sonar so it is a big advantage over other types of uh, similar kind of equipments radar does not need target cooperation to emit any signals or emission it means we there is a no requirement that the target that we want to detect should emit signals or it should send any kind of signals or it, it should have any kind of emission so that it can detect that if it is not emitting or uh, transmitting no signals then even in that case the target can be detected by the radar easily so it is it is an advantage of it the radar can be used for quite long ranges okay we can use radar for long ranges the targets located at large distances radar signals can target uh, several objects at the same time this is uh, a big advantage of radar that uh, if multiple objects multiple targets are present then uh, it the signals sent by it can uh, gather information about all these objects all these target objects situated at some distance at the same time okay now uh, these were the advantages now we will discuss some limitations or the disadvantages you can say of the radar what are these first is radar cannot identify the color of the target okay there is no information that we can obtain about color uh, with the help of radar okay the radars can not resolve in the details like human eye mainly at short distances when it comes to radar then uh, it is easier to get information from the objects that are situated at large distances in comparison to the objects at smaller distances okay so uh, in case of human eye we can uh, resolve the uh, objects in greater details if it is uh, very near to us but in case of radar it is better it works uh, better if the object is situated at some distance if it is too short then it becomes difficult to analyze that object with the help of radars radar is not able to penetrate the sea or you can say the deep sea to collect data about the target we use sonar to locate the objects that are found in the sea but uh, with the help of radar it is not able actually the radar is not able to penetrate the deep levels of sea we cannot analyze the data accurately with the help of radar now let's see some more limitations uh, radio signals can be interrupted by other signals as they travel through air and space as we know that uh, the radar transmits radio signals uh, to detect the objects and uh, these uh, travel in free space they are not uh, they travel wirelessly so there are lots of chances that it gets interrupted by other signals or uh, other radio signals other electromagnetic waves when they travel through the air or space so interrupt interruption problem or the interference problem by other signals is a problem with the radar radar cannot be used beyond the ionosphere we know it is a layer of the atmosphere found uh, around the earth ionosphere having ions okay because it, it it cannot be used beyond the ionosphere as these signals are deflected back to the earth if we want to uh, identify or if we want to detect any object that is uh, found uh, beyond the ionosphere or above the ionosphere in that case the radar cannot be used properly because these signals the signals the radio signals are deflected back to the earth they do not reach to the ionospheres uh, they do not uh, cross the ionosphere so in that case it cannot be used analysis of data obtained from the radar needs a specialized training as the data that is obtained from the radar is not uh, uh, very easy to understand you cannot uh, understand it easily unless you are a trained person to do that job okay so that analysis that raw data that is not complete data we need to analyze various uh, informations to extract various information from the raw data that is obtained uh, actually it is just the 
uh, data that is obtained from the uh, reflected waves or the eco signals so you need an expertise to analyze that signal so we need a skilled person to for the analysis of that data the data uh, that is obtained is not complete as the reflected signal cannot report the complete details of the object as i just told you that uh, the data that we uh, we analyze is just obtained from the eco signal and we know that eco signal has its own limitations so complete details about the object or the target object cannot be obtained there are some limitations to it like we have discussed various things like color etc cannot be determined what is inside that of only the outer surface can be analyzed so there are various limitations uh, that we cannot uh, obtain the whole information about that object so this is again a limitation or the disadvantage of using radar uh, now we will see some applications of radars where these radars find uh, their uses uh, we can classify these uh, broadly into two types uh, civilian applications and military applications so first uh, discuss the civilian applications uh, first civilian application is airborne radar for satellite surveillance we can use these radars for the surveillance of satellites to keep an eye on the satellite where they are moving how they are moving we can analyze their speeds and other things their location okay police radars police uh, police also can use radar radars uh, for police radars for directing and detecting speeding vehicles if some speed uh, if some vehicle is uh, uh, going uh, over speed then we can detect it because uh, as i told you that they can uh, the radars are able to detect static and also the moving objects and they can uh, find or measure the velocity and the angle so we can uh, detect at what speed the object is moving the you can say what at what speed that vehicle is moving so so it can be used by the traffic police radar blind lander that helps in aircrafts to land under bad weather conditions or at night sometimes what happens that weather is not so good and the visibility is very poor in that case uh, it becomes very difficult for the pilot to land safely in that case it becomes very difficult for the pilot to land the aircraft in that case radar uh, can be used radar blind lander as it is clear by the name that as it is it it does not depend it is not necessary for the radio waves to have a very good visibility because its function is just to send the signals and to get back the eco signal and to analyze that so it can be used at night time or in the bad weather conditions having low visibility fog fog time okay so in that case it can be used radar altimeter to calculate height of planes radar altimeter altimeter means an equipment to measure the height altitude so radar altimeter to calculate the height of the planes clear okay we can use these radars to uh, find how at what height the plane is moving radar can also be used for uh, help in navigation on ground or sea be uh, even if the uh, poor visibility condition is there in that case it is not affected we can use it for safe navigation on the ground and sea on both mediums radars can also be used to find the speed of moving targets like automobiles guided missiles shells etc okay uh, we have seen that uh, automobiles case we can uh, find the speed of various things because it can easily detect the velocity of the moving target guided missiles and shells okay military applications these were some uh, civilian applications now we will see some military applications where the radars find their applications so what are these military applications uh, first is for directing guided missiles okay with the help of radars we can guide the missiles it can be used for searching submarines and land masses okay submarines in the sea radars can be used to detect and warn for approaching enemy ships or aircrafts if some enemy's uh, ship or aircraft is uh, moving towards us then we can easily detect it and warn our military 
uh, for detecting and ranging enemy targets even at night because it can work easily at night conditions and in also in bad weather conditions we can easily detect and find at at what distance the enemy target is uh, located and how it is approaching at what velocity it is approaching and can take safety measures to shoot enemy ships and aircrafts we can easily shoot ships and aircrafts of the enemy to drop bomb on aircrafts it can be used to drop for dropping bombs on aircrafts ships or cities of the enemy cities at the night or in poor visibility it can help how to drop uh, it can help in uh, dropping the bombs at the right place so these were the basic concept applications military application and civilian applications along with the advantages and some limitations of radars that we discussed here in the next video we will see the block diagram of the functioning of the radar how a uh, radar works what is its block diagram okay it's functioning so keep watching engineering made easy and don't miss the next video if you like this video if you found it really useful then please click on the like button and share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos thank you for watching have a nice day bye